everyone, my name is Miss Janelle, and this week we're going to learn another part of Joseph's story. Ah! Uh, that was weird. Anyway, like I said, Joseph's story is amazing, and you don't want to miss what happens next. Ah! Uh, okay, hold on. I really need to figure out what's going on here. <coughs> Freddy! <coughs> Freddy! What's going on? What are you doing? Uh, uh, Mr. Now it's just you. Of course uh, it's just me. Who uh, else would it be? Uh, well, I've been having these really weird dreams about giant stacks of broccoli chasing after me. Oh, no, that doesn't uh, sound like a dream. That sounds more like a nightmare. It is. And, and now every time I see something green, I think I need to run for my life. Oh. And trust me, I do love the color green, but not when it's food chasing me. I mean, Mr. Now, what if broccoli really does come chasing after me? Oh, Freddie, I don't think you need to worry about that because you see, our dreams are usually just about things that happen during our day what? or maybe something that we ate. So stay away from Mexican. That's all I'm what? saying. Mr. Now, do you have yeah. something against Mexican food? Yeah, it gives you bad dreams. Oh, good point. So, so, so wait a minute. So, so dreams aren't ever going to come true? Well... Oh, oh no! Giant broccoli's going to come after me! No, 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 no. Calm down, Freddy. You see, in our story about Joseph, there are dreams, and they do come true, but they're not about broccoli. Uh, they're not? Nope. Oh, okay, then. I guess I can listen to the story. Oh, hey, kids, put your listening ears on, okay? Because it's coming up next. So, Ms. Janelle? Yeah. Is there even, like, the color green in, in the dream? I don't think so. No. Yeah, yeah. you're safe. Yeah. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Always got a Bible story for me and you. <laughs> oh, hello, friends. I'm Casey, and I'm helping out at the Cupcake Food Truck. Do you want to see my latest, most delicious creation? Ta-da! These are my Sweet Dreams Cupcakes, because in today's story, we're going to talk about someone who had some pretty amazing dreams. If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story! Woo! This is Joseph. He was put in jail, even though he had done nothing wrong. Being in jail was hard for Joseph, but God had a different plan. One day, the king of all of Egypt, the Pharaoh, had some dreams he didn't understand. They were about seven cows. Cows? What do cows say? Moo! You're right. <laughs> Dreaming about cows is funny. Wait, ooh, let's count the cows in Pharaoh's dream. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! Great job! Seven cows. The pharaoh also dreamed about stalks of grain. Grain? We make bread out of grain. Let's pretend to have a snack. Mm, yum. Mm, yum! Pharaoh wanted to know what his dreams meant. And drum roll, please. He asked Joseph to help him. Hooray! Joseph was brought out of jail straight to the Pharaoh. He told Pharaoh that the dreams were from God, that Pharaoh needed to save lots and lots of grain because his people were going to be hungry and need it later. Pharaoh was so happy to know what his dreams meant that he gave Joseph a very special job. He put Joseph in charge of all of Egypt. Years later, the dreams came true. People were hungry and didn't have food. So they traveled from all over to get grain from Joseph. Wow! God's plan was for Joseph to help all these people. 
God has a plan for us too. And God's plan is the best plan. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up! <laughs> hey, Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Wow, that was an amazing story. Oh, God really gave Joseph an amazing gift. He could understand what dreams meant. Oh, and because Joseph knew what God was trying to say with Pharaoh's dream, Pharaoh put Joseph in charge of saving all the grain. Wow. Oh, God's plan was really the best plan for Joseph. Uh, Joseph trusted God's plan and ended up exactly where God wanted him. Now, I really like that story, Mr. Now. You know, I don't know why you're so scared of broccoli. This stuff is delicious. Ah! Stay away from me! Was it something I said? Anyway, kids, not all of Joseph's story was great, was it? Sometimes it was sad, sometimes it could have made him mad, and sometimes it seemed like everything was just super bad. But through all of it, Joseph trusted that God loved him, was with him, and that God's plan was the best plan. And because of that, Joseph ended up exactly where God wanted him to be. He was put in charge and he worked with the king of Egypt. But that's not all. Joseph's story isn't over yet. Come back next week to find out the last part of Joseph's story. We'll see you then. Bye. Oh, Freddy, where did you go? Don't you want to come face your fears and eat this yummy broccoli? No, no, get away from me, giant scary broccoli!